Hi folks, welcome to another stall13.com video. No, I'm not going to show you how to fill a water tank. Actually, I am. This video is under wives tales, rumors, urban legends, myths, complete ridiculousness. I'm talking about allowing a water tank to overflow. You don't want to let you do that. You know, we talk about the moisturizing of a horse's feet, how important it is that they stand in water or mud, and how good that is on their feet. Oh, that's all well and good. But one of the oldest wives' tales with horses is allowing a water tank to overflow and have a puddle around it. It's ridiculous and it's wrong, and I'm going to tell you why right now. Mosquitoes, West Nile virus, uh, flies, barn flies, horse flies, EIA. Do you really want to have to get a Coggins test on your horse to see if your horse has swamp fever slash EIA? All because your tank overflows and you have standing water around it, which this tank is going to start to do. When a horse steps in mud, yes, that wet mud does help moisturize and some of that moisture in the mud does go into the hoof and provide the hoof with some moisturizing attributes. But here's the downside. When that mud dries on the outside of the horse's hoof, it takes out more moisture than it ever put in. Think of it this way, if you've ever worked in a garden or you've ever potted a plant, you get dirt and soil, that most soil on your hands, when it dries, if you take the soil and you do this, your hands feel dry because the moist soil actually sucked moisture out of the pores on your skin. Look at this right now. This isn't accomplishing anything. But yet, everybody does it. And you know why they do it? Because someone told them to do it. This is the way Grandpa did it. This is the way my uncle did it. This is the way the boarding facility did it. Well, I got news for you. This is what you're doing. You're, all this area is now a breeding ground for mosquitoes. All of this area with this puddle and this water overflowing, it's a waste of money. Water is expensive for everybody. If you live in the west or the southwest where water is worth its weight in gold, are you really going to have 15 to 20 gallons of water just wasting away? I don't think so. This is a real interesting situation because if you line 100 people up, you'll have 100 people tell you something different. But what I'm telling you, this is it. This is the, this is the straight truth of it. You do not want to overflow your water tank. Yes, if you're overflowing it because you had a dead animal in there, like a squirrel or a bird, well then go ahead and clean it out and scoop it out. I, dump, I wash these tanks out once a month or somebody does on the ranch. I usually like to do it, so I know it's getting done exactly the way I want. If you have a bunch of debris or ice or something like that, yeah, but you don't want to routinely have a muddy, wet spot around your tank on a continual basis. It's unhealthy, it's wrong, it's a waste of money. This has been another Stall13.com video. Take care of yourselves and take care of your horses.